Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the uh, regular, traditional service at uh, Christ Fellowship Church in Palm Bay, Florida, with Pastor Carrie Miller. And, uh, oh, okay, yeah, we'll turn it this way. No? Daniel, our, our director, says not to do that, so, okay. I want to welcome everybody here, and uh, we have some really good hymns for you. It's Father's Day in the United States. Is this just a U.S. holiday? Father's Day, probably. I don't know. But here it's Father's Day. Every so. day is a holiday in Miami. Right. Every day is a holiday. Every day. Fun city. So, happy Father's Day to everybody who's in the U.S. listening in, and especially if there's fathers outside the U.S., we want to wish them the best. We have a great father, don't we? Amen. Yeah. Wonderful father. We're going to sing some yeah. songs to our father. And we're going to start off by, with uh, hymn number 248, God Our Father, We Adore Thee. Father's world, the birds their carols 
rains, the morning light, the lily white, declare their maker's praise. This is my Father's world, He shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass I hear Him pass, He speaks to me everywhere. This is my Father's world. Oh, let me never forget that though the wrong seems all so strong, God is the ruler yet. This is my Father's world. The battle is not done. Jesus, who died, shall be say a prayer for, I'm asking for the Lord to uh, heal our country and uh, to bring about a revival. We have a lot of divisions here in this country now and lessen the hatred and the acrimony and to heal the country and to uh, somehow bring about peace in the world. Pray for our broken world. Pray for Fred. We don't know where he is, but he's not here tonight, so we're going to pray for him. And for all our pastors throughout this county, state, and in the United States who are uh, helping uh, carry the gospel message and to help our uh, their congregations. Pray for all these. Any other prayers? Pray for all the fathers. All the fathers. I'd be one of them fathers, but pray for all the fathers. You know what I was thinking about today, Russ? All the families that have been so torn up because of all the floods and the storms, yeah. they just haven't had a normal Father's Day, you know? And it just, I, I felt guilty because uh, we had it so good and the rest of the country is just, i tell you, we're, they're just a, unbelievable. Mm. I grew up on that Mississippi, my friend. I want to say it again. Where those three rivers come together there, south of St. Louis, and the, the flood, it's, the flood plain there is unbelievable. The farmers, it's too late to plant. I mean, you know, we just go to the store and take it for granted that all that fresh vegetable market's going to be there, you know, and we don't realize that what they're going through right now all over this nation. If you look at the Weather Channel and get, get the whole picture, I told you, you know, the other day, I get up every morning and look at that first thing. Our former pastor used to say, if you want to see what God's up to in the world, turn on the Weather Channel every morning. You know, it's amazing. We just think we live in paradise down here and we don't realize what's going on in the majority of the world tonight. The hunger, the famine, the pestilence. Am I right? Those of you, yeah. I'm yeah. not saying you're missing, you know, missing out if you don't watch it, but you are. <laughs> yeah. How do you know how to pray if you don't know what to pray for? You know, if you get through in about three minutes, you don't have much to pray for. We used to get amused, Russ, when we'd have an all-night prayer meeting. And people would take an hour and come and they'd take turns. People would leave and they'd wait till the next person got there. And then they'd pray for an hour and we'd go all through the, till midnight from, from uh, 12, uh, I mean from 6 o'clock till 6 o'clock. Then they'd go home and come back for church. And I've had more people say to me, you know, preacher, I had to pray for a whole hour. I've never done that in my life. I don't know, how, you, how do you pray for an hour? You know, I pray about five minutes and said I'd run out of something to pray for. You know, that's a sad predicament. 
Well, I didn't mean to preach here in the middle of the song, but uh, okay, Pastor. I guess that's I your job description. That's your job description. Yeah, thank you, brother. Amen. Amen. Any other prayers? For, for David? Yes, Dana. He's got a little bit. Me. Well, oh, wait a second. Hold on, Dana. For me and my family. Well, Dana, do you mind if I pray for everybody's family? Yeah. No, you go right ahead. That would be great. And for all of us here tonight. Yeah. Yes, Armando. For David, he's getting uh, getting better, but he's got uh, still getting over a little uh, little. Uh, it's my grandson. I don't it's my know. son-in-law. He's praying yeah. for my grandson, who's going to be two years old. Yeah. Who basically is in the process of now of tearing down, deconstructing my house. <laughs> who apparently is ill. You know, I don't want to. I'm I'm a little worried what happens when he gets well. Because right now he's like super baby. He's chasing after the dogs with trucks and uh, you know he's beating up on everybody and he's yelling and screaming and jumping around yeah, yes. apparently apparently he's ill is that what you're telling yeah, me yeah yeah he's got he's, boy he should have could have fooled me I'll tell you what yeah, he's got respiratory he's getting better but he's, he's got getting better okay. but he continues to get better okay okay pray for David yeah, so. pray that my sister remains uh, sober absent okay you said she is or pray that she continues to Romaine. Okay, who else? Yes, Dwayne. Safety, uh, going to Israel. I'm sorry, who? Safety going to Israel. Travel mercies to Israel. Mm. For you, right? Yeah. When do you go to um, the Philippines? Uh, July 4th. Well, that's coming up to you, you. You come back from Israel and then go straight to the Philippines? For a week. A week in between. You're like a world traveler. You're like, you're okay, Dwayne. Okay. Yes, Danny. And it's all of our friends and viewers around the world Carmen in Mexico, Sacuntala in Bali. Many, many viewers in the Philippines. They're going through some tough times, financial issues, and some illnesses going around there, so prayers for all of them. I have a report for, on uh, Mary and Sherry May there. Yeah. Uh, they're doing amazingly well. You know, after uh, some weeks ago, her mother and sister left, and they haven't been back, and then she got attacked by her father. Her father's been gone. And since that time, uh, the end of the month they're moving into a new place which is upgraded they just got flooded there themselves the water was waist yeah. deep she was up all night mm -hmm. but they're moving into a new place oh, great. Uh, she had got a mover and a moving truck uh, her job is doing well her Sherry May is in a good school now they're just they're thriving absolutely Sherry May's never hungry because it's just the two of them there right. so he was so worried but instead of worrying she follows the message and she trusts yeah. and she said because I told her yesterday, tomorrow in church I will tell them the great news, what the Lord has done in your life and Sherry May. And she said, uh, because I told her, you know, she's going to have her best day in church tomorrow, which was yesterday there. Yeah. And she said, every day we go in church, it's the best day ever. It's a good feeling when we go in church every Sunday. And I told her that I'll tell everyone here that she said that. Mm -hmm. And she said, thank you so much. I'm glad and I'm happy that people there is praying for us also, and we pray for all of you too. Well, we're praying for Mary and Sherry May and Sacuntella and everybody down there. Uh, and uh, I got that right. I, I got Sacuntella right. Also, our friend from the Philippines working in Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. uh, Merlita, she's yeah. the contributing member of this congregation. Right. She's asking for a special prayer for her daughter, Janko May. What's, what's her daughter's name? J U N. K J U N K O M A Y prayers uh, that she have faith that she grows in faith uh, that she has an improved attitude and uh, love in her heart and increased faith. I can if I can just briefly. It's hard to understand. That's why I said it. What? for a 
Don't connect. Okay, Don't connect. Yes. No. I mean, for example, that the. Uh, We're going to pray with Jean Canet yeah. and all our yeah, yeah. daughters. That was the first one. The second, I played the wrong one, but she went into it that she wants asking for increased faith and uh, the Lord in her heart and an improved attitude and love in her heart. I have it on good authority that the Lord knows exactly what she, want, we, she wants us to pray for. Amen. He's okay. He's got it down whether we pronounce it right or not. <laughs> he knows. Jean Canet. our prayers are. The Holy Spirit knows about that stuff. Yes, Jerry. I like to pray that Carrie Miller Ministries grows. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. Yes. What did you say? That Carrie Miller Ministries grows and thrives and reaches throughout the entire planet. Amen. Well, you know, this, since Danny put it on YouTube, I mean on Facebook, the numbers have just skyrocketed. Because it wasn't on there before. It just on about on, what, two or three weeks? I was posting the YouTube videos, but now I upload the videos directly to Facebook so more people can watch it if they don't have load in other countries or Wi Fi. Right. They can watch it directly on Facebook. Prayers, for, I'm going to get to you, Lynn. Prayers for Jesse's uh, kids and grandkids and to, for David. Yes, Jesse? I pray for uh, my son David, who is in prison. Right. And for his uh, family. Also, uh, let's remember. Uh, Anthony Nathan, who has right. prostate cancer. Right. His upcoming treatment or his healing. He had the. Um, no, he did not. He didn't have, that's right, he didn't have the operation. He's, he's not had the surgery. He keeps getting postponed. Okay. Yes, Lynn. Friends and family. Okay, yes, I'm going to cover that absolutely. Yes. And I don't know if we said this. We thought we'd take all the Thank you. I did uh, ask for prayers for all the fathers. Thank you very much. You did do that. Yes, Danny. Uh, Clinio and Jeanette, they're in Panama. Prayers okay. for them, their family, and Anthony. And Leo, Angie, and Alexandra, I don't see them here, so prayers yeah, for them. Yeah, they may sometimes come in late, but prayers for them. That's wonderful. Yes, Manny. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me get Manny. Go ahead, Manny. Prayers <coughs> for niece Jasmine um, who uh, lost her boyfriend in a motorcycle accident last month tragically he was killed and she's still mourning over his death and she, his name was John and uh, prayers for his family too so God can console thank you yes Jesse I wish you remember I, I recall since uh, he mentioned that cleaning who, was, who? Uh, and, you mentioned uh, Clinio in Panama, uh, Irma Myrick. Right, and Jim Panama. Myrick. Yeah, and Jim. I don't know whether Jim's working tonight, but I have prayers for Jim and, and uh, um, Irma and her mother in Panama. Okay, well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus, you've heard all these yeah. names and uh, all the people that we're praying for, and you know who they are. I may not repeat them all, but uh, we're praying for our country and for the divisions in our country, for unification, unity among all people and among all Christians. We pray for a revival in the United States and a revival in this world. Pray for Carrie's ministry. Pray for all the churches and all the pastors and senior pastors and missionaries throughout the world. We pray for all the congregants who are carrying the gospel message and if they're not we pray that they do pray that uh, Jesus sits more and more upon the throne of their hearts and our hearts we pray for everybody's family we all have sons and daughters and there's been specific uh, prayers for uh, Jean, Jean May and, uh, and for David and for different people and for Jasmine but you know we know that there's many many sons and daughters and grandsons and grandkids that need prayers with people who have suffered from illnesses like Anthony Nathan and we're praying for them them we're praying for our, our viewers throughout the, the world yes, Lord, and pray amen. that uh, in their churches like Grace Church and the churches in Indonesia the Philippines that are growing and in Mexico uh, we are so grateful that they're able to tune in to our service and 
you know, we pray for our host church, which is Christ Fellowship, and for the various churches throughout our community that preach the gospel message, full gospel message, like uh, Old Cod the Presbyterian, and, you know, our brothers and sisters in Christ throughout the world. We pray for those who are being persecuted because of their faith. Uh, and we pray that they're able to gather strength uh, through focusing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray for Fred, who's not here tonight. And pray for all the fathers, because it's Father's Day. Pray that uh, the Lord brings up strong fathers who believe in Jesus Christ. And we thank Jesus, our Father, who art in heaven. We thank our Father. We thank Jesus Christ. We thank him for our salvation and for his sacrifice and finished work on the, on the cross. We thank you and ask all these prayers that have been previously mentioned. And even those who haven't been mentioned that are in our hearts. Perhaps we didn't hold our hands up or talk about them. But, but you know, Lord, you know what we need and what we want. Even when we don't. We ask for all this in your blessed son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay, and now we're going to do 405. 405, very good hymn. Have faith in God.
that. That felt good. Feel good? Yeah, it does feel good. Well, I thought we got started off kind of bad in the first verse. Yeah, but it's, but, but uh, we ended well. We apologize for that. But we ended well. Yeah, that's a that, that's you a good. You want to end well? That's a good illustration. That's like my life, you know. I start off bad, but I'm ending well. <laughs> Did you know yeah. that? Yeah. This is like uh, this is like it doesn't matter as long as you, isn't that right? Yeah. The last one in gets paid yeah. the same thing, isn't that right, Jerry? Yeah. The important thing is that you end well. Yeah. We're going to give people a chance at the end of this service to end well. That's what the service is all about. To get lost once a chance to end well. That's it. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Pastor. There's a sermon there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> well, what, were, what did we just do? 405? Meet and greet. We did 405. Oh, we're going to meet and greet. We're going to meet and greet each other. So now it's a chance to get up and say hi to everybody and give them a hug. Jesse, how are you? Nice to see you. I want to end well. Thank you very much. That's what the Christian life is all about. It starts bad, but you can end well. Love you, Jess. Well, we've got uh, I was thinking it's, it's raining outside, but there's we got two more two more hymns to go, but uh, first we'll have our collection. No, one hymn and hymn and then a collection. Okay? Okay. Wait, we'll get we'll wait for everybody to settle down. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have 182, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Oh uh -huh. 
Dwayne, our fellow Dwayne, is going to be one of them when he goes over to Israel and he goes over to the Philippines. We're praying for him and safe travels for him. We thank you once again for your finished work on the cross, for allowing us all to be here in this wonderful country. You know, just think of all the countries we could be at where we'd be persecuted for this or executed for this. We pray for all the people throughout the world that are being, being hurt and tortured and discriminated against in all sorts of ways because they're Christian, because they love the Lord. We pray for this, and we ask all this in your blessed Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'd like to say as we're taking the offering tonight, we had several hundred dollars come in. Several hundred dollars come in last Sunday evening. And the Lord was good, and we praise Him for it. The Lord got a hold of somebody. Mm. Amen. So... 
And after that's what we're going to do, I guess we're on our, our last hymn, which is uh, 54 in your hymnal. Our last hymn before the message. I know you guys know this one. Great is thy faithfulness. There you go.